coming up how the Trump administration helped conservative news media push lies about Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2016. This week, Hillary Clinton's 2016 campaign lawyer Michael Sussman was acquitted of lying to the FBI in a case brought by Trump era special counsel John Durham. As we see with so much from Team Trump, there wasn't a there there. The jury four women told reporters the case shouldn't have been prosecuted, suggesting it was a waste of time and resources. And the legal ethics professor told the New York Times, quote, it's hard to understand why it was brought other than to support Trump's allegation that the Clinton campaign falsely alleged a Trump-Russia connection. Bingo. Let's be clear here. The intent of this trial was not to get a conviction. It was to push an attack against Hillary Clinton, as former Trump Attorney General Bill Barr said in his own words and making clear just this week. While he did not succeed in getting a conviction from the D.C. jury, I think he accomplished something far more important. I think he crystallized uh, the central role played by the Hillary campaign in launching as a dirty trick the whole Russiagate uh, collusion narrative. What? Imagine that. I mean, this is a playbook Republicans have used time and time again, getting parts of the news media to launder their lies and conspiracies. It also happened a lot with Hillary Clinton, as we saw back in 2015. Everybody thought Hillary Clinton was unbeatable, right? But we put together a Benghazi special committee, a select committee. What are her numbers today? Her numbers are dropping. Why? Because she's untrustable. But no one would have known any of that had happened had we not I agree. thought That's and made something that good. I give you so credit for that. In the age of Trump, the results are irrelevant. What is important is peddling enough lies and innuendos that voters get confused and believe that anything is possible. That is the Republican playbook. Our panel is back with me. David, let me get your thoughts on this. Did, uh, what did you make of the conservative media reaction to the Sussman verdict and that soundbite we played of Bill Barr there? I mean, did they get what they wanted, which is, you know, they got the acquittal. They didn't necessarily want the acquittal, but if it is acquittal, it doesn't matter. Bill Barr is out there saying what's more important is that they put this narrative, they injected this narrative into our body politic. I, I suppose conservative Republicans got what they wanted. If their plan for 22 and 24 is to relitigate the 2016 election in Hillary Clinton and the Russia investigation. What is notable, and, and you cover it perfectly, Eamon, is that this case was not actually about whether or not the tip was credible enough to be investigated. It was whether or not Sussman was able to refer that tip as a citizen who was concerned or as somebody who should have acknowledged his affiliation with the Clinton campaign, which is why I think most legal analysts has, have suggested it never should have been brought. But it was only brought because Durham was put into place to essentially carry Donald Trump's narrative for as long as he could possibly carry it to feed this conservative Republican base that is focused on 2016, not on 24. And that's their own undoing. Yeah, Mish, let's talk about the politics of this in particular. One man, Donald Trump, as you can imagine, he wasn't happy with the Sussman acquittal. He has put a lot of hope on John Durham over the last couple of years. Watch. I look forward to Bull Durham's report. That's the one I look forward to. What happened to Durham? Where's Durham? And by the way, where's Durham? What happened? Where is he? He disappeared. It's hard to imagine, Yamish, that someone waiting so intently on a prosecutor's findings uh, is playing fairly here. I mean, didn't Trump know from the outset that this Durham probe was phony or did that not necessarily matter to him as long as he can just weave this narrative uh, about his campaign and what happened in 2016 into the politics. Well, Eamon, I could almost ask that very question on a number of false claims that former President Trump has right. made. I think the, the 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 to me the goal as someone who's like studied Trump, who has obviously covered him for a long time, the goal has always been to have people talking about things, to have people sort of having the discussion about whether or not the 2016 campaign and Hillary Clinton's campaign was 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 wrong and whether or not they should be looked into and whether she should be jailed. Um, with the 2020 election, no matter the, the fact that clearly it was a fair election, clearly Bill Barr knows that President Trump has lied about a number of things, including the fact that he lost the 2020 election. But it's the fact that this lie continues to be repeated. And as a result, conservatives and the dark 
Webb and conspiracy theorists, they can all sort of throw in and have a conversation about this and sort of get people confused who are not paying attention or who maybe don't want to pay attention and want to just believe the lies of former President Trump. I think the key here is that the, the media attention to this and the sort of conversation is, I think, the goal based on my reporting. But it is something that, of course, Former President Trump was waiting on this so long, and of course now it turns into an acquittal. Um, the fact that this that there's a juror saying this shouldn't have been prosecuted at all, I think underscores just that I that issue, which is that the part of winning it was the fact that it even got to court, that there even was a trial here. Yeah, and Molly, listen, I'm old enough to remember when both Bill Barr and John Durham were appointed, we were told, you know, they were serious men who wouldn't play politics. Their history showed that they were up to the task of being apolitical and take on their roles in this important and dignified manner. How much of a hit have their reputations taken since they've become uh, stooges in this Donald Trump narrative that he's pushed out over the last couple of years? Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty clear that Bill Barr has ruined himself. I mean, I think that he, he I mean, he was a, a well-respected Republican that no longer is a thing that people can be in, uh, in under MAGA. So, I mean, I think he's become just another, you know, one of Trump's people. I mean, I think what's amazing is he's already trying to discredit it by saying it's a D.C. jury, right? Like, there's something wrong with the jury because it's right. from D.C. And he's also, and again, the thing with these people is the truth doesn't matter. So they will, you know, again, it's the spin more than the truth. So the conservative media will yeah. run with this story and say, you know, it means something completely different than it does. And, you know, they'll be queuing on people saying, like, this is proof that Hillary colluded. I mean, it, it, this ultimately, the, when the facts don't matter, the narrative can be anything. <laughs> Yeah, and David, you know, for me, again, you know, this is an example of the difference between Republicans and Democrats, because when the Mueller probe was taking place, all we heard from Republicans was witch hunt and witch hunt and witch hunt from everybody. The Durham probe has now lasted longer than the Mueller probe. It has not even gotten anywhere near the kinds of serious indictments, charges, convictions that the Mueller probe brought on. How long can Durham continue with this probe? And could he drag this out indefinitely? Because, I, again, Democrats are sitting here watching this, and they're being very respectful. They're not calling it a witch hunt. They're not calling it a waste of time. Sure. Not in the same way that Republicans attacked the Mueller probe and undermined it for the two years that it ran. Yeah, and look, I think Democrats are being very smart. First of all, we, we largely know there's no there there to this Republican conspiracy theory. And also what Democrats know, Eamon, is the more Republicans talk about Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden stealing the 2020 election and the Russia investigation and Sussman, all these other things, they are so far off message from where they should be in this cycle. Right. Republicans in this cycle actually probably have a net edge going into November if they would just focus on the contrast between Joe Biden's favorability and generic Republicans. This is a favorable Republican environment for them. But what we saw going all the way back to the Georgia Senate runoffs uh, coming out of the 2020 election, what we saw coming out of other races and primaries thus far is when Republicans relitigate 16 and 20 in the big lie, they lose. They're on a losing message. So Democrats are right. Let Republicans have this message because it will only weaken their hand going into November. Mm. Molly, with the GOP, I got to ask, why does everything circle back to Hillary Clinton? What is their obsession with the Clintons? You know, I was just thinking about that because I was thinking she's not even going to run. I mean, there's no world in which she's going to run. And sometimes conservative media will get a story going like, Hillary thinks about running again. She's not running again. There is no world in which she's running again. And there's no world in which she's getting the Democratic nomination. But she's been around a long time. They feel they've really muddied the waters with her. I don't know if that's true. Benghazi worked. I mean, that's the joke, is Benghazi actually did work. She was a very popular Secretary of State. They sort of slandered her. And she became, you know, after hours and hours and hours, they were able to, to muddy her. And so they like her. And then also she's a powerful woman. And so she's just a favored target of the right. Again, I think it's an example of the difference between how Republicans play politics with the Benghazi committee and how Democrats do. So to your point, you're absolutely right.